Here are a few non-parametric procedures. So say I have a data set with some roosters, um, and they've been on diets one and two, and then they came out to these particular weights. I'm entering the data in a little bit funny way. Um, each rooster uh, from diet one and diet two are interwoven. So this is rooster from diet one, and this is rooster from diet two, diet one, diet two, and so on. And if I do it this way instead of what you would normally do with a, uh, okay, diet one, and then this is diet two, and then so on, have ones and twos, it just saves me a little bit of time in entering the data into the computer. So it's just an idea. Um, so if I run this proc sort in the univariate by diet, you can see that I've got two very different distributions. The second diet doesn't look very normally distributed. So our ANOVA procedure maybe won't work so well on this data set. So instead of doing that, what I want to do is use some sort of non-parametric procedure. If you just use the regular PROC and pair one way, um, it'll give you all kinds of different procedures. Um, and then you can see I've, de I've denoted class uh, diet as my class, so I'm com I want to compare um, the mean from diet 1 to the mean from diet 2 if I were running an ANOVA, um, but here maybe I want to compare the medians because I'm not sure things are normally distributed, that kind of idea. So you can see all kinds of um, statistics that spits out, Kramer von Mises, um, Kolmogorov of Smirnov, etc., etc. Um, but if you're just interested in one particular test, instead of having all these different tests. Say you want the Wilcoxon here. Um, you can denote Wilcoxon at the end of your variable statement.